y'all, this is Blythe and Whitney here to talk to you about how to get started with aquariums. Fish tanks can be really relaxing to look at and rewarding to take care of, but getting started can often lead to frustration, particularly if you've never had fish before. We're here to share some resources and some guidance to help you get started. We also want to stress that fish don't live in the same environment we do. You need to do your research to know how to take care of the water they live in. The first step in setting up a fish tank is deciding what kind of fish you want and what size tank fits those fish. I always suggest the more simple hardy fish for beginners because even if you're careful, water parameters can be difficult to maintain at first. Once you've picked out which type of fish you want, make sure you learn everything about that fish. If it is schooling, meaning they like to live in groups, what size school is recommended? Will that size school work for your tank size? What temperature water does that fish need? What type of food does it eat? How big will this fish get? It might grow out of your tank. What is its bio load? Just one goldfish needs at least 20 gallons to stay healthy. You'll want something that eats algae and decaying matter in your tank, like snails, plecos, or catfish. Typically, these are called cleanup crews. They keep your tank looking nice. Make sure that the snails you choose won't have offspring that will overrun your tank. Again, always do some research and get advice from somebody with experience when you choose to add something new to a tank. Sometimes fish are aggressive, like betas, and shouldn't be placed with other fish. The library also has some great books that can help you make informed decisions on your aquarium. Like the book, Nano Aquarium, Everything About Purchase, Care, and Nutrition by Jacob Geck. If you want to pause your video and scan the QR code, you can place this book and the others featured in this video on hold. Another book is Aquarium Fish, How to Care for Them, Feed Them, and Understand Them by Ulrich Schleiwen. This is my 14 gallon tank. It houses several mystery snails and two African dwarf frogs. The tank could easily host more aquatic animals, but I purposely keep the bio load small so that it's easily maintained. I, on the other hand, never had fish until over a year ago. I decided to start with the beginner friendly species. I settled on the glowfish because of their fluorescent colors. In my short experience, I have found my tetras to be easy to care for and plan to increase the size of my tank to give my fish more room. There are many starter kits on the market, but most schooling fish are going to need a bigger tank. We hope this video will help you begin your search as you decide whether an aquarium is right for you. Aquariums take time and research, but most people can agree they are worth every bit of effort. Book talk! Hi, I'm Angie with the North Columbus Public Library, and this big guy trying to get comfy on the couch with me is Zeus, my best fur friend for snuggling and getting cozy with while reading a good book. Speaking about getting cozy, did you know that the library has some totally possum books about everyday people, and sometimes their pets too, who solve crimes and mysteries? Cozy mysteries bring the reader into the small world of the amateur sleuth. These bakers, knitters, shop owners, or retirees lead normal lives just like you and me, but are people who also have a knack for solving crime on the side. Starting with Agatha Christie's Miss Marple series in the 1930s, cozy mysteries have become more popular than ever in recent years, with many authors like Joanna Fluke, Rita Mae Brown, and Donna Andrews taking up the mantle. But these books aren't claws for alarm. Cozy mysteries usually contain very little violence, bad language, or dark subject matter, and are often humorous in nature. Getting into a cozy mystery while snuggled against a furry friend like Zeus is the perfect recipe for a doggone relaxing time. This has been a book talk. The song, reading, shout. We're open. Check us out.